did you just come watching this really cool animation so if you want i will teach you step by step but don't skip so first of all to start we would really like to have a logo in our scene for that i already have a logo i will just bring it in so this is our logo make sure your logo has a good topology like mine has now first step in our procedure would be to make fractures out of this logo so how can we do that first of all what you have to do is go to edit preferences and in here you will see something called add-ons and go to add-ons and search for cell fracture and there it is i've already activated it so you have to just do is check this and it will start working for you now let's just close it now to apply the effect selecting the logo press f3 and you will get this search bar so press cell fracture that will bring us some properties of what we want to apply first of all we want to set the noise to one source limit to 500 check to random not small and change material but before we go ahead we have to make sure that our logo has two materials go to the materials tab and we have only material one material just delete it add two new material to it and there we go we have material i'm gonna set this one to something black to get difference again bring the self factor menu and change the settings one noise random set material to two or one anything would work and then make source limit to 500 and just click ok and the procedure will start wait for it to finish now if we see we have all this logo but don't just deselect them press m and add them to a new collection which will be called fractured underscore logo so we can easily use this later so if we just hide our previous logo we have this fracture logo right here now to start using it we will add a plane to our scene well a plane has no use in our scene but we have to use it to make a geometry node so let's just divide it and change this one to geometry node editor selecting the plane click on new and what we will do is delete the grip input shift a and search for collection info and bring it here now connect the instance to geometry we'll select fracture logo in here and our logo is here we have to make sure that we have hidden our collection in our scene collection now next step would be to start creating the effect first we will add a node called scale instance and bring it right here now we will use this to scale our elements individually to drive our animation we will need a empty in our scene so we will add a empty plane axis to our scene now going back to our node editors to bring it right here we'll just pin the geometry node system right here and click on the empty and drag it right here now we will add a node called position which will give us the position of all these fractured cells add a node called vector mat and change the mode to distance let's just connect the location to the vector one and position the vector two let's just move it back now what we will do is just connect this value to the scale and we'll see nothing happening let's just try moving it around now it's scaling with this but it's scaling all at once so what we have to do is click on separate children and now every single piece is scaling on its own but there is a issue which is they're scaling beyond the size they were so to fix that we will use a map range add a map range to our scene drag it in between that has fixed our problem we can fine tune it more let's just change the values to 1 set the from max to 2.25 0 and 1 that would be same now the effect will look more better than before we'll fine tune it more later so don't worry let's just save our file for now now we what we would like to do is we want our elements to come from this empty and drop down while scaling so for that we will use another node called set position so which will make us bring the fracture cell from here while scaling and moving their position as well so to make that happen we will use these nodes again we will just duplicate this and then use a mix node set it to color and then connect location to a and position to b 
now using this connect it to our position one thing what we have to do is the value coming out from the distance we have to connect it to a factor and now you can see nothing is happening yet so let's just set it to relative as well and this one relative and our original also relative everything to relative so it affects with this let's just switch around and what we have to do is add a map range in between let's just duplicate this one and add in between let's just move around a little bit adjust a map range so i will set this from minimum to zero max to two that would be okay let's just set to minimum to 3.5 lastly to max would be zero and let's see the result now the effect is happening what i wanted so now we can see that our cells are not totally scaled down to zero right here so there should be zero here and one here so i will just add this is from minimum value so that they are like zero at that position so as you can see they are like scaling from that point how cool is that i really like it make sure you have to find the point where you can start your animation so if you go beyond the position it will reverse the animation well that works also but whatever you direction you want make sure you find the midpoint which is this for me and now that is working how cool is that now our animation part is all set now what we have to do is set up a really cool scene and start animating our stuff i will also show you the shine effect and the transforming from fracture to the full logo i will just add a bg to our scene as i've done right now let's just change to our render view and i would like to use cycles with gpu compute in the world scene i'll just reduce the strength to zero if you want to know how i make the bg i just took a cube and i just beveled the all the edges remove the top part of it and for the materials i've just applied some lights on the edges like this and applied a emission material for them let me just show you the materials here are the materials material 05 which is for the hole which is a shiny metal part so our logo shines a lot in it we can copy the same setting right here all right back to our logo now let's just add some light to our scene so that we can show our logo brighten our logo more if you would love to you can change the color of inside as well let's just go to the fracture logo and select any cell and we can change the material from here because they are all connected you are saying 222 are sharing so i'll change the base color to something i would like for this tutorial let's just add a camera to our scene as well now the camera is also here so what we gotta do is add a curve to our scene curve profiles and you will see helix 3d now we can use this helix to get a nice animation we want if you don't see this curve in your scene that what you have to do is go to edit preferences and here search for extra extra objects and enable them extra curves add curve and mesh both so let's just change the values a little bit let's just increase the height i mean decrease the height increase the weight so that camera can cover more i will increase the end angle as well as much as i want and again increase the width and increase the height of it so that i can cover all the animation easily now with that let's go to top and make sure it's in the center of our logo like that selecting the camera select this and select the curve and ctrl p and object now it is curved and make sure let's move the camera to the start of this curve right here where the dotted line is coming from move it towards that let's just select the curve again and go to the curve properties and you will see about the animation you start the evolution time our camera will also start moving on the curve so now that is done other thing we have to do is selecting our camera go to constraints add constraint track 2 and we can select our logo but i don't want to select our logo we'll add an empty for that and just call it something like focus so it focuses on that make sure it's on our logo right there select our camera and with the eyedropper we'll select that empty so our camera is focusing on our logo now let's look and if we select the curve and change the evolution time we can focus on our logo like that like how it's building so let's go to the zero 
insert a keyframe on the evaluation time go ahead to somewhere like 100 for now and let's just make it bring all the way up maybe no it is fine until here and just click i and it will insert the keyframe what we have to animate is our focus now select our focus click i and location let's just go ahead 200 frame and bring it up so it can focus on our logo building like that click i and location so it follows around let's just see and that is a really cool animation right there one thing you can do is just scale out your spiral so you can get more angle if you want and less angle if you want well i will just scale it out more so i can cover more now we have to just animate our construction part so where is our empty let's just name it something as fx controller so we can easily find it let's just press i and location on this as well go to the 110th frame we can just move it like that at last i will just slow down the animation a little bit and i and location and then slow down a bit and then again i and location let's just move it this loud and let's look through our camera now we have to adjust a few settings the starting of the animation which is the fx control it's starting way late we can have it here or maybe here from here i guess that would work okay so what i just did is just move this first keyframe let's just go to zero frame and move this keyframe to the left to the minus side so our animation keeps on going and the part where the stones i mean fracture cell come in the scene are here right there and let's just see the animation i mean they are very blurry right now but they will be good after they render and you can just bring the focus part a little up right here insert location if you're not able to see much of your logo what you can do is go to the data properties of camera and just decrease the focal length so you can cover more area like i am doing right now i would set it to 30. you can even go out more if you like to so it covers more and lastly i can insert a scale on our spiral go out more and scale it so i can cover the whole logo insert scale as well again enable the auto keyframing to enable your animation a bit more to next level so it registers any changes itself so you have to don't have to press i and again 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 so location let's just go here and move it down like that let's just animate our focus as well like that so our logo is in focus now let's just talk about the part where the logo constructs itself our logo still has those fracture line and i showed an animation where a flash comes on our logo and the construction of our logo is complete so what you have to do is just go back to our collection and we have logo i mean a backup logo so i will just enable it and i will use this one i'll just kill it a little bit so it covers our logo totally now our this logo is only revealing so first of all what you will do is make a duplicate of this and i will name this one shine and the other one final logo so for the shine one i will go to the materials and just remove this materials which has and create a new one for this go to the shader editor and for here i'll just delete this one add a mix shader node click it right here now add transparent pstf and a translucent pstf connect it to the mix shader let's just hide our final logo for now because we want to see only the shine one now for these i'll add a gradient texture use a color ramp selecting our gradient texture press ctrl t so it automatically brings the color mapping now we have to change this to object not to generate it now we have to just bring it between here and another one change it to black and let the middle one be white actually we have to do is delete the translucent add a emission and connect it right here and connect the color to the factor and the color to the factor right here well nothing has happened yet because we have to connect the shader to surface as well now our shine is here you can see if you increase the strength 
the shine will also increase let's just uh, change this location for now let's just bring it here add two blacks on the end as well like this so it has a soft fall off it's not sharp now our flash is here we can move the location with this z value but how do we get that finishing logo animation so let's just enable our final logo make sure that it is not less than our fracture logo we have to make sure that it is not smaller than our fractured and not greater than our shine so scale it slowly slowly until the fractured part is not visible but our only flash which is shine is visible that would be good enough you can press shift while scaling to move very slowly one last thing which you have to do is hide a cube our background add a cube to our scene go to edit mode selecting these vertices we will just do is move it down like this and i will move them up like this so it's like intersecting at the flash and make sure i scale it on the little bit more so it covers our whole logo and bring this down more so what we have to do is selecting final logo go to the modifiers add a modifier which will be called boolean and for the boolean we will select our this cube object let's just hide this cube object again go to modifiers where the boolean is and change it to intersect and as you can see at the exact part where the flash has appeared it has revealed the whole logo so only part left is just to animate it properly like giving a keyframe right here which will move it down right here and giving a keyframe where the flash has completed like this set keyframe and selecting our cube what we'll do is go to this frame move it down here and when the flash completes move the whole cube up like this so it covers the whole logo which means our whole logo is appearing in our scene if we turn this off and if we see the animation you can see our logo is completing with the flash so that's a really cool way to make this animation so guys if you really love this tutorial of logo reveal animation i will be bringing more awesome tutorials in blender in future if you really love this make sure to subscribe to my channel also like this video and comment down if you have any doubts so thanks for watching and have a nice day